All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kadash. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of GMS, real well. I want to say Shalom to all the Akim that's out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. I want to say Shalom to my brothers YSO in Nashville. <clears throat> I was reading through these um, verses here in 1 Kings chapter 3, and it occurred to me that, uh, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, we are already plugged in, okay? The men of the Lord, 144,000 hopeful elect, we're already plugged in, okay? Um, it, it comes to mind the the movie The Matrix, okay, where Neo had to get um, plugged in in order to get all this knowledge and understanding uh, downloaded. Okay, well, we have all wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through the power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, <clears throat> all we have to do is plug in to that spiritual power. Okay, our Kadash, and we have that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding uh, uploaded. Should I say? Okay, uh, because the only the only understanding that matters. Okay. Comes from Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay? And it's set in his word, okay, in these scriptures. That's the only uh knowledge and understanding that matters, okay? And so uh plugging into that is is really where we're gonna get the true understanding of all things. Alright. So I'm gonna just read these scriptures right here. Uh because truly and honestly, all right. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the only ones with any bit of spirituality um, anyway, okay, uh, uh, within us, okay? Esau ain't got it. These other nations ain't got it, okay? These Edomians have to rely on things such as technology, okay? That's, that's, uh, that's their form of, of witchcraft, and they have to plug into that in order to back up whatever left-hand spirituality they're trying to deal uh, uh deal with okay which really comes from hasatan their father all right it's not it's not within them okay and that's why you see uh, uh high level uh which is like the like the k club okay i'm not gonna uh say the name on here but you know last part of it is dashians all right the k sisters that's why they have to uh you know get a get a so-called negro uh man and draw for his energy draw for his spirituality okay and and uh the the you know famous sister of them kim all right when went so far as to copy beyonce her whole look all right i mean she she went and copied her whole look to steal off of her energy okay while while also uh um feeding off of uh kanye's at the same time, okay? Now, those are high-level uh, witches, but what? They don't have any spirituality. So in order to uh, procure the power for their witchcraft, they had to what? Steal the spiritual energy, okay? Or take the spiritual energy from the so-called Negroes, okay? Because the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the holy people, okay? The salt. And so we have the spirituality, okay? We have, we have the power within us okay to tap into all right now of course you have uh some of our people okay who tap into it on the left side all right but it's still there okay and and the k the k club being at a high level that they are they want to get that high level uh spirituality but anyway i'm not going to get into all that this is just getting back to to the point man that we are we are plugged in okay this is 1 Kings chapter 3, <clears throat> verse 5. And Gibeon, the Lord Yahweh, appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And our power said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. And now, O Lord, Yahweh, my power, thou hast made thy servant 
king instead of David, my father, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give, therefore, thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this, thy so great a people? So Solomon understood, being a young lad, okay, he doesn't know how to, how to judge uh, a, a holy people, okay, with law, statutes, and commandments given by the Most High, okay, passed down from his forefathers, okay, being a young lad, Okay, he still needed that. He needed that 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 knowledge, wisdom, understanding. If he was going to be king, to judge a great number of people. Okay, he understood uh, from the lessons that had been passed down how big of a task it was for Moses. Okay, when Moses uh, was of a uh, you know much greater age, and how stressful it, it it was for him. Okay, so he understood that he had a heavy load on him. Okay, so let's read on. This is verse ten, and the speech pleased the Lord. Yahweh that Solomon had asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast thou asked it's like it, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies. Because these are things that someone would normally ask for, all right? It's like like say you get a a, a genie, you know. I mean people even today treat the most high. Like like he's some genie in a bottle, okay? They can make three wishes, okay? And then put them back in the bottle when, when, when they're done with them, all right? So Solomon understood that, listen, man, this, 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 is, this, is, this is of a serious, uh, of a serious nature here, okay? And I need to ask something that's, that's going to uh, not just benefit me, but benefit the people, okay, that have been given me by the Most High, okay, to rule over. All right. And so he didn't ask for 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 money. Um, he didn't ask for uh, the life of his enemies, you know, like some people might do today. No, he asked for. Uh, well, let's let, let's continue reading. I'm going to read uh, continue reading the scripture. Verse 11. But has asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Verse 12. Behold, I have done according to thy word. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart. So that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. So before Solomon, there was none as wise. And after Solomon, even to this day, there have been none so wise. Okay. And we see uh, Yahweh Shai had the spirit uh, of Solomon. Okay. And so, uh, but he says, behold, I have done according to thy word. Just that quick. Okay. Just that quick. Because... The Most High Yahweh understood what what Solomon was going to ask even before, uh, even before the it was asked of him. Okay, uh, that's why it says, "Behold, I have done according to thy word." Okay, it was done at 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 the time at the time uh, Solomon made that request. It was already done. Verse thirteen, and I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked. Understand this: both riches and honor. So that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. So he would be the wisest. Uh, he was the wisest before. Uh, or he was the wisest in the land. But there was none as wise as him before. None as wise as him to come after. And in the land he had great honor. Okay. Great honor and riches. So he. And, and unlike any of the kings. All of his days. So guess what? He was the richest man in the world. You know how we come out. Uh, uh, the magazines hit the, um, you know, the tabloids hit the shelves. Okay. Magazines, periodicals and such. You get, uh, you know, videos that, that may come out on, on YouTube. You know, a story might hit the news media talking about the richest man in the world. Right. Well, that was Solomon. Okay. A king from my lineage. All right. An Israelite man. All right so-called negro as they would say today okay so-called black man right richest man on the earth okay verse 14 and if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as thy father david did walk 
then I will lengthen thy day. So the things that he didn't ask for, that other people would normally ask for, the Most High did those anyway. The Most High did those things anyway. That's a small thing to make a man rich, okay, to lengthen a man's days, okay? That's a very small thing, okay, to give a man honor among the people, okay? Imagine imagine in, in this time, man, all right? People are so dumbed down, okay, demoralized, unethical. What is it for a man to have honor today, man? Okay, it's a small thing, okay? And even so in that time. But the things that Solomon didn't ask for, he was given, and he was the wisest of all. Verse 15, And Solomon awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And he came to Jerusalem and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord and offered up burnt offerings and offered peace offerings and made a feast to all his servants. Okay? But again, just wanted to... Uh, Get this real quick, man. You know, we're, we're, we're plugged in. You know, we have the spirituality already. All we got to do is ask for it, though. All right? So we have to ask for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay? Just like Solomon did. It has to be our, our, our uh, you know, our prayer every day. Okay? Because we're not going to be as, as, as uh, you know, we're not going to be wiser than, than, than Solomon. Okay? We're not going to be wiser than Solomon, all right? The hope is that we can get the same knowledge, wisdom, understanding, okay, um, to understand the, 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 you know, some of the deep sayings, okay, some of the secret sayings of this book, the mysteries, all right, and just understand the uh, law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High has, uh, has given us so that we can walk upright, okay? As David, our father, and as and as uh, Solomon, all right. But um, didn't want to make this too long. I was just reading through this, and uh, you know, just wanted to put this out. You know, Lord willing, somebody be edified, you know, by this uh, right here. But again, every day we just gotta ask for this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Uh, we're already jacked in, you know, for the hopeful elect, hundred forty-four thousand. And uh, with that, I want to say shalom.